Y'all are just gonna need to forgive because this is what it looks like when you film with the backdrop. It really looks this ratch. Um, also, the reason why I'm not using like my good camera is because it's at school and I'm in Pennsylvania, not at school, and I wanted to do my makeup. Maybe I should just take it down. Like, does it look really, yeah, it looks pretty bad. Whatever, that's like, this is what my studio looks like. So take it or leave it, please take it. If you guys watch Vlogmas, which is on my second channel, which I'm gonna link down below. Um, I said that I was going to put up a beauty video every day and I am starting today. I put one up two days ago and now I'm gonna put up all the rest. So I'm gonna film a video every day and put one up. It's gonna be a lot of work, but um, I really want you guys to know that I'm dedicated and then I'm gonna do it. Um, so these videos are gonna be chill. They're gonna be casual. They're just gonna be my videos which I'm excited about. It's gonna be like 90% makeup, but then I'm also gonna do like lifestyle stuff so you guys can get to know me. If you guys didn't watch my last video, I'm gonna link it down below. I highly recommend that you guys watch it so you guys know like what's going on in my life so that you're up to date and you're like, why isn't she in school? Like, what's going on? You guys know what's, what's up. This is um, bubble gum lip scrub by Lush. Mm. And then I use this lip balm this is by chanel i got this because charles gross talked about it and he said like he loved it and like it was the best lip balm he ever used so i was like oh hell yes i trust whatever charles says and he really liked um the bomb.com which is like my favorite lip balm ever and i haven't had it in so long because i'm honestly too lazy to order it so he said this one and I was like, oh, hell yes, I'm gonna love it. I really don't love it, but it was a lot of money, so I'm gonna use it up. Okay, do you guys have Finstas? Because I have a Finsta and no, I'm not gonna let anyone of you guys follow it. Like, not in like a rude way, but like people from my school request it, like girls that like I've said like, hey to in the hallway and stuff, like in high school, but then I've never talked to them again. I'm like, why would I request you? Like, why would I accept you, you know what I mean? Like, it's literally just like my best friends that I accept and I, I have 80 followers so I guess I have 80 best friends I don't know but like my fence is really like just for me and my friends um this is a smashbox photo finish primer but right now there's like the trend on fence do you guys remember Facebook in like seventh grade eighth grade or whatever that's when I was in on Facebook when like we first got it and it was like a big deal and everyone would do like 2bh and like honest opinions and like stuff like that Okay, well, like, there's a trend right now um, on Finsta, like, me and my friends, we're, we're, like, doing that on Finsta, and it's honestly so much fun. Like, no wonder I loved it when I was growing up, because it's seriously so fun. This is, um, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorge. If you guys don't know, Finsta is, like, oh, what is this? This is a Sigma F82. Finsta is, like, a fake Instagram. And then you call real Instagram Rinsta. And it's just like, you make jokes and you like talk about your problems and you vent. And like, I don't know, it's just a place to be like silly. But then sometimes, every now and then you get like Finsta drama, which I've never been a part of because I think it's stupid. Like you let your Finsta followers follow you because you trust them. So there shouldn't be like, like, when people vent and stuff, we always have snitches. So then snitches will, like, screenshot your Finsta and send it to people that they're, like, talking shit about or venting about or whatever. Like, word always gets out about people talking shit on Finsta. So that's just why you shouldn't talk shit anywhere because it's always going to get out. Um, whatever. So there's always... Not always, but like once a week, there's like Finsta drama. This looks so ghetto. Like I'm, I'm sorry. I left like all my, well, I ran out of my brow product. So that sucks. So I have to use something that's way too light. And then I'm probably just gonna use an eyeshadow or something because I don't even have dip brow with me because I wasn't planning on being home for as long as I am. Last night I was watching, I don't know how to say her name, I love Sarah Yi, Sarah Yi, Sarah Yi, 
freaking obsessed with her. You know who else I'm like so obsessed with? Tammy Hebro. I'm sure you guys are too. She's like goals, like Lux goals. Oh my God, I'm really missing my brow, brow products. It feels really good to film in my studio again. Okay, so I got like the basic shape. I'm just gonna try and make them look good because like this does not look good right now, my eyebrows. Um, and I also have a bunch of new products that I wanna try out and I'm gonna try them on camera, so I'm glad. Okay, so Smashbox sent me their Light It Up. These are their gift sets. Uh, this one is eyes, contour, and lips. So I'm going to try the contour one to see if they have a shade for my eyebrows. Oh, lips is pretty. There's a color in there that I like. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. It's like three little palettes. So lips, eyes, contour. So the lips is actually cute. Look at that middle color. That's what I'm talking about. And that one's pretty too. But like that nude is calling to me. This is the eyes. Oh, pretty. It feels like there's two. It's such a hefty mirror. It's really good. This is pretty. That purple is nice. You know, Smashbox isn't a brand that I'm like ooing and eyeing over, but they do have very good stuff. Contour. I think I'm going to use this one for my eyebrows. Okay, wait. Actually, that's too light. No, it's not. It's fine. Sometimes you don't even know you have a bald spot until you watch eyebrow tutorials and you're like, hmm. Shit, it's already been 20 minutes and I'm literally only on my brows. So I did two things. Okay, that's good. Today I ordered the Kai Shadow Jewel Palette Edition. I really am so in the mood to get my nails done. But I just got them done. And they look really good. Today I'm really going to try a good nose contour too. Okay, so there's the brows. They could have turned out way worse, I think. Okay, so I watched Sarah's nose contour, Sarah Yi. I'm just gonna call her Sarah. I watched her nose contour video last night. So I'm gonna try it out today because it was the best method that I've watched. And like, I know I have a nose contour video out, but like, I'm always trying out new methods and hers looks hella promising. Am I boring? Like, I asked Matt that the other day. I was like, am I boring? And he's like, well, you kind of like to do the same things. And I'm like, hmm, maybe I'm boring. This is the first time I'm wearing makeup in like a few days. Okay, and then I'm gonna bake with the RCMA translucent powder. So I bake my eyelids <laughs> just to set. Yeah, that's the money shot right there. I bake the under eyes. I'm also gonna bake the side of the nose. 30 minutes only on the bake. Today's gonna be a great day. You know what? <laughs> I will be hella extra today. <laughs> what am I gonna use to contour? What? brush. I always liked this brush for contouring, but now I think it might be a little bit. Okay, so Sarah used a brush that was very similar to this. So. Okay, so this is Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I love this bronzer. It's my go-to. It's my bestie. It's my life. I'm going to follow the lines I have at the bake and kind of saturate them. But I'm not going to bring it down too far. I think that's my issue. That I bring... My contour lines down a little bit too far. Okay, this looks bomb as fuck already. Button it up a little bit. Because my nose already points up enough. Cream contour, this shit's where it's at. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> under the eyes. I don't know what I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use this because Too Faced sent it to me and I love use, ouch, oh my God. <laughs> I love using products that brands send me um, just cause like it lets them know that I really do appreciate it because it's very nice of brands 
to send me makeup because I know I have a lot of friends that want makeup like this and I get them sent to me. It's very nice of brands. So I like to use makeup that they send me. This is their Christmas in New York. Mary Macaroons Vanilla Scented. Really, really pretty. So this is it. That purple is really interesting me right now. I haven't used it. A little nervous too because I don't know what look I'm going to do. Maybe I'll use that as a pop color on my... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm first going to take the shade... <sighs> Does a bitch want to go dark or light? <sighs> mm. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to take the shade Mint Chocolate. I don't know why it's called Mint Chocolate. It's very purple. And I'm going to throw this in my crease. This is the transition. Look at how much better eyelids look with just a little definition in them. It lifts up the whole face. Gotta love makeup. It's Makeup is plastic surgery. Oh, makeup artist, you mean plastic surgeon? <laughs> okay, I need to go get a cream shadow because I know this won't look good without one. Okay, so for the lid, I'm gonna go in with NYX Lavender Jumbo Shadow Pencil. Who remembers these? The most OG thing makeup could possibly buy. That and like Great Lash Mascara. I swear to God. Like that is like, oh God, I should bake. We're going to put this heavily on the inner corner. But I'm also going to put it all over the lid because I have a feeling that it's going to be much harder to do a halo eye with this and then put this in the middle than it would be to put this all over the lid and then blend it out with that. So that's gonna be my technique. I do a cut crease halo. No, it's already a little bit too. I mean, I post like daily makeup pictures. So what if I just filmed a video every day of me like making the look? And then I could put like a mini tutorial on YouTube. I could put a real tutorial, I mean a mini tutorial on Instagram, and a real tutorial on YouTube. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, and then, where'd the cap go? To make sure this doesn't crease, because I can feel it moving around and being a little impatient. Please try again. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in with the shade Honey Lavender. It's really gorge. I'm going to coat this well on the middle. And... Just set that cream shadow. Definitely not the texture that I wanted. It looks not good. It defines all the wrinkles in my eyelid. Then I'm gonna go in with chocolate raspberry. And I'm gonna, this is a Smashbox brush. I don't know what palette it came in, but it's double-ended and it's a really great brush actually. Actually, before I go any farther, just need a little extra under the eyes because this is going to have fallout. And I don't want it messing anything up. And I'm also just going to clean up. Do you guys like this video? I like it so far. Like, it's just fun. Like, it's just me doing my makeup, getting ready. Like, I'm really just getting ready. Work it, baby, on the inner corner. And since it's a halo eye. Okay, so I really don't like how that looks. I'm just gonna keep, you. when this happens, if you like don't like how it looks, you just gotta keep going. Like, just finish the eye. Like, really, you do. You just have to finish it in a lip. And once you finish the face, once you don't have a bake on, have to finish it. One thing I don't like about the CoverGirl foundation that I've realized is that it oxidizes, which is super annoying. Okay, um, I'm gonna, no, Tori, finish your eyes and then do liner. I always do this. I get super carried away with one eye and I'm like, let me finish it. But like, I'm not gonna wanna go back and finish the other eye. This year of realizing stuff, I really realized that people 
people need to do less. Okay, so now that that's done, the bake swiped away, I'm gonna take Neutrogena Skin Clearing Powder and powder my face down. Even the parts that I baked because they will lighten up. And my nose cover looks crazy right now. It also looks heavier on this one side. So I'm going to fix that. Keep in mind that it also only looks crazy right now because I don't have any other color on my face. To highlight under my eyes, I'm going to take the light shade in the Smashbox Contour Palette. I'm just going to... Ooh, yes. Smashbox. Oh, hell yes. Do you guys see? You guys saw that, right? Like the brightness. Don't deny the power of this baby tiny thing. Um, I'm going to bronze up my face before I continue. Like, I jump a lot, okay? Hula 135, 85, something like that. I was watching Manny MUA yesterday. And he has, I don't know what it's called, but like his hairline goes back here, um, which is common in males. And he, the way he puts bronzer on it just makes it look so good. I kind of wish my hairline was like that because it makes bronzer look so good. I'm like, fuck yeah, Manny. I also watched a video. Okay, wait, this was so weird. She was an adult beauty blogger and she made this entire video of her talking like, Super, I don't remember what her channel was, but she was like talking super, super slow. And the title was like, Manny MUA is rude and edits it out or something along those lines. Like it was such a weird title. I'm like, what? I clicked on it because I'm like, okay, Manny is not rude. Like sweetest human ever. And it's this woman making like a 14 minute long video talking about like next to nothing um about how manny said like oh if you don't know how to use these eyeshadows like you're an idiot like it's the easiest thing ever like no offense taken no one should be offended by that and she was so offended because she like had the same palette and like couldn't get the shadows to work and i'm like like you're offended by that like I don't know. I am going to tell you guys something that, like, I know I shouldn't say, but I really want to say it. Because, like, I can. Just because you can doesn't always mean you should, but I want to say it. Anyway, um, I'll say it in a second. Smashbox sent me this blush palette. Dope as anything. This is the coolest thing ever. You guys definitely need to get this. I'm obsessed. It's, like, so freaking cool. I, the only thing this blush palette is missing is in orange so lately this has been become a thing this is about youtubers that use other big youtubers names to get a following and that pisses me off like how are you going to use someone else's success and tear it down to get yourself a following okay so i have to speed this up and mute this out because i got really passionate about this topic and i started name dropping and the more i watched it the more i'm like this is not very nice so i'm just not gonna put this out on the internet and i'm not gonna call anyone out but uh it's just something that i really dislike and it was on my mind at the time so i really went on quite the rant about it i'm sure you guys can conclude like what i'm talking about um, but I don't know. That's pretty much all that I'm saying. Okay, but anyway, uh, okay, moving on. <laughs> Bye! I've also managed to use up all my camera battery, so I'm going to put my lashes on, charge my battery, finish a little bit up, and I'll be back. So what do you think? This is the finished look. I think it looks dope. Like, I think it looks really cool. It's like a fun, gothic look. And I like it. I like it a lot. I think the hoops add, like, a good touch to it. I think it's cute. What do you guys think? Um, for the lips, I used, well, I started using eyeliner. I just ordered Dead of Night by Kylie, which I'm really excited to get because I'm really liking black lips lately. 
I used this CoverGirl Perfect Point, but I ran out halfway through, which is so annoying. So I finished it using Tardis. And then to set it and make it look not patchy or anything, I used a little bit of NYX Raven. It's a shadow, I just patted over top. So yeah, that's the glam. I think the nose contour is a little strong, but I think it looks good. Like I think it's, let's go right behind here and I think it'll look better. I think it definitely looks like a good nose contour. Look, I got a little nose job. So yeah, this is the look. I hope you guys like it. I like it, it makes my teeth look so white. So yeah, now that I'm done filming this, I'm pretty much just gonna take pictures of it, edit this, and it's gonna go up today. So the day that you guys are watching this, if it's the original date that it was published, I did this look today. So we're kinda like living life together. You know, wait, let me show you guys this mirror really quickly before you guys go. Look at this mirror. It's so big, literally don't mind my outfit. I just threw something on. Look at this mirror though. I got it at Home Goods. It's for my house, my new house, my condo. Um, but yeah, this is the look. I hope you guys like it. Um, leave comments down below of what you guys think. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Be sure to follow my Instagram, and um, yeah, love you guys. Bye.